Hello, friends. I'm really glad to be um, with you and uh, sharing the music and the magic of um, collecting. Today, I want to um, just start touching on uh, some of the jazz in my collection. I have quite a bit. Um, I want to thank everyone for the comments, and I want to throw back at you the fantasticness of all of your collections as well, looking at the, the different um, styles and unique pieces of um, vinyl that people have come across, as well as CDs. You know, I'll get into CDs eventually here, but records really going back to my childhood, obviously, you know, I just really I love records. So here's some jazz. We're listening to Free Action by Wolfgang Downer. I'm not exactly sure why I've had such um, an attraction to German culture and music, but I do. And uh, Downer is obviously another German, plays piano. But this is an excellent um, early uh, recording that features Manny Neumeyer uh, from Guru Guru, as well as Eberhard Weber, who's made a series of classic albums for ECM. And that's what's playing in the background. That's Jean-Luc Ponty. Great album. On NPS. Every collection's got to have some miles. They've got obviously a ton. There's a ton of miles to have, but this is just one of the most dynamic, explosive jamming albums of all. Live Evil. Gene Ammons from Chicago. The Boss on tenor. The Twister. The cover's damaged, but the record isn't. Speaking of ECM, this is an early recording. This is uh, number seven, number seven, their seventh release. Jan Garbrick, uh, Nordic sax player with um, excellent and astounding technique. Alfred Pepperbird, this is a classic. You know, of course, we got to talk about Herbie. We got to have some Herbie. Talk about some jazz. This is an excellent uh, live recording from the period when he was doing um, Headhunters and uh, the one, the one right after that. Great stuff. Great cover too. Thelonious Monk. No introduction needed. Get your monk on. Astro Pietro, the master of the. Uh, Accordion, Bandolian, Bandolian, is that what you call it as well? Beautiful music. Tangos, beautiful. The French master, Django Reinhardt. I was really happy to find this as on Blue Vital. But beside the cover, it's um, got some great old recordings. Wonderful. Still on guitarist, Wes Montgomery. Eulogy. Man was gone way too soon. Albert Eiler. This is a Holy Grail album. I mean, uh, talk about spirits moving in the room when this is played. Spiritual unity. This is an original copy on ESP. This is an amazing recording. Something really happened in that room when, when this went down. Just really, really intense. Terry Reptol, the Norwegian guitarist, love his style. Uh, again, another early ECM. I was happy to um, catch wind of this label early on. And this is his first, um, no, he actually has some earlier solo, solo albums, but his first one for ECM. This is wonderful. Billy Hart, Enchants, played for many years with um, Herbie Hancock, but he's played with a number of folks, and uh, this solo album of his is just um, awesome. One of my favorite Chicory albums, not, I don't know, too well known. Uh, it's kind of one of the out dates where they're just flying free all over the place. Jack DeJanet's on here, as well as Dave Holland, is. Uh, when I met uh, Chick, I spoke to him about this record, and of course his eyebrows went up and said, Well, you only you about five other people know about this record. And I said, 
Well, I'm sorry it went over folks' heads, but this is some damn good music. Again, from Herbie's band, Julian Priester, a couple of no Toto, his solo album, Love, Love. This has been sampled in recent years, um, and it's just funkier than a mother. I just have, you know, I'm, this is some of my favorite jazz, so we just got to show this, you know, uh, Herbie Hancock's Sex Tank. Everybody talks about headhunters, but, you know, you need to hear this one. And then from his band, Eddie, Eddie Henderson, excellent trumpet player, and this album, Inside Out, for fusion jazz, the prime stuff, this is one of them. I love Ralph Towner, the guitarist, and this is an early album that he did, uh, Trios and Solos with Glenn Moore and Colin Walcott from uh, the band they had together, Oregon. Beautiful music. Some wonderful... Um, Improvisation with Masahiko Sato, pianist with Pierre, Peter Warren on bass and Pierre Favre on drums. Great album. You ask, the question has been thrown around, what is your most valuable album? I'm not sure, but I think this might be one of them. Because this is an original copy on John Coltrane's own record label, Cosmic Music. Um, I've had this record for 30 plus years and bought it from a private owner who uh, said, well, you have to buy this, you know, you know, and um, it's hot, very intense. As you know, John was reaching for beyond the heavens and the cosmos, just really trying to connect deeply with the universe, with his music. And this is, is an excellent example of that, where he was going with the music with his wife, Alice Coltrane. Don Cherry Moo, first part, classic. And this is an original, not a reissue. And here's his, his boss back in the day, Ornette Coleman, Art of Improvisers. There's just so much jazz. I mean, just barely scratching the surface. This, these are just some, this is just one tiny section of some of my favorites. Friendship Next of Ken, just some outside stuff. Um, probably wouldn't recognize any of the names on here, but um, I'll tell you what, if you come across like this album and most anything on this label, Goody, I think it's a French label, um, this stuff's tight. Art Ensemble of Chicago uh, is very important to me. Lester Bowie, that's where he started. God rest him. This is um, a rare early album of his, including uh, the members of Art Ensemble. Members one and two on Nessa. Hmm. Bobby Bradford with John Stevens, the English drummer. And the Spontaneous Music Ensemble. Julie Tippetts is also on here, Trevor Watts. A lot to absorb here. Last one for this bunch. Duke Ellington Spaceman, the cosmic scene, original copy on Columbia. Like I said, um, jazz is so important and so deep. Um, this is just, I just had to show some. Some young folks might have thought, well, what is this man who's showing all this crazy space rock music? Well, you know, well, yeah, I'll listen to everything. But um, The Outer Boundaries and um, true creative um, uh, daringness is a big part of what I've always looked for in music. Um, really to sort of respond to another thread that I heard or a question. I thought I can't remember the person's name, but they were asking, what do you look for? But my head is, my ears are very much wide open, and I do believe that I can hear the essence of artists, or the essence of what's occurring in a recorded moment, and that's really what I'm looking for, is to find something that somehow touches me, catches my interest, moves me, changes the atmosphere in the room, improves my life, you know what I'm saying? 
leave comments and um, please subscribe.